Yes, indeed. He had a package of one, two, three, four, five, six playing cards. Now the soul magician removed one, two, three of the cards and placed it right into the hat just like this. However, when he waved his hands and he snapped his fingers, he still had one, two, three, four, five, six playing cards. Now, I grant you, it's not every day that you see an old circus sideshow magician with a packet of one, two, three, four, five, six playing cards. Remove one, two, three of the cards and toss them right into the hat just like this. Only to wave his hands and snap his fingers and still come up with one, two, three, four, five, six playing cards. So naturally being inquisitive that I was, I asked that old magician at the end of the show to teach me the effects of the one, two, three, four, five, six playing cards. You know the effect I'm talking about. The effect where the magician takes one, two, three of the cards and tosses them right into the hat just like this. Only to wave his hands, snap his fingers, and still come up with one, two, three, four, five, six playing cards. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to report to you that not only did that old magician teach me the effects, he let me borrow the very one, two, three, four, five, six playing cards he used in his magic show. Now I removed one, two, three of the cards and placed it right into the hat just like this. However, when I counted the cards back, I only had one, two, three. Hmm. Yes, I was rather embarrassed by this. Sheepishly, I handed the cards back to that old magician who taught me then a very valuable lesson. A lesson I will never forget. And it's something that I incorporate in every single magic show that I've ever done up to this very day. He said to me, son, the true magic lies in the details. In this case, you need to wave your hand, snap your fingers, and you will always come up with one, two, three, four, five, six playing cards. Thank you very much.